Larry, give me some background on yourself. You were born in San Diego. Uh, yeah, my father was uh, in the military. Uh, he's in the Navy, stationed down uh, in Coronado. Okay. Uh, so I was, I was born in San Diego, moved around a lot, but uh, the last place I lived in San Diego was Oceanside. How long were you there for? I was there for three years, um, and then I moved to Kentucky after that, after my uh, sophomore year of high school. That's quite a culture shock, San Diego and Kentucky. Yeah, um, it's more laid back in Kentucky. I mean, I, I love I love being in the country, though. I mean, I love fishing. Uh, just uh, I love how slow down it is. It's just relaxing to me. You're asking with this, and you mentioned two things. Number one, you lived in Oceanside, and you're Samoan descent. It's hard not to think of Junior Seau. Did you ever did you ever come across Junior Seau? Did you watch him as a, as a, you must have been like two years old when he was playing? I mean, he was a uh, he. I've seen him a couple times. Um, he went to Oceanside High School, and he, he actually went to a couple of the games uh, while I played varsity there. Mm -hmm. And um, I know his family. My brother's fr uh, friends with a lot of his family members. Um, he's a great family. Um, mm -hmm. He's a great player himself. Um, and I, I mean, I just I remember watching him playing, and he's just so competitive and. I used to be like, oh my God, if I can be like that guy, <laughs> I'd have a, I'd be like the most strongest person in the world. And then I, that's all I wanted to do is like be strong, like uh, like all the players I saw. So he, he was one, of, he was up there with uh, who I wanted to be like. And how competitive, how competitive are you? Three years start at Kentucky, biggest interview process of your life here at the NFL Combine. How competitive are you? I just want to, I always want to do uh, better than anybody else. I mean, uh, that's what drives me. Um, I don't want to get complacent with myself. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm my biggest, biggest critic. Um, I, I, always, I always think I'm not as good as, uh, as I really am. So it really drives me uh, to compete and be better uh, than anybody else is uh, to the best of my ability. So uh, I think that's what's make, made me a great player so far. And I'm going uh, to keep trying to compete for, um, for a top spot. How much do you love to run the football? Not you personally, but how much do you like to go ahead and block and run plays, run blocking? <laughs> Uh, I love run blocking. I mean, um, it's just it's the essence of offensive line right. play. I mean, <laughs> just getting down in the dirt and uh, coming off the ball and uh, trying to just win the physical battle. I mean, it's me against, me, me versus the D lineman and who's stronger and who has a better leg drive and uh, who's going to get lower. So I mean, it's just it's just all just masculine force. <laughs> so I mean, I, I love it. I love coming off the ball and I, I love uh, love being physical. Before you go into, into more meetings and everything else, meet with more teams, your biggest strengths and weaknesses as a player? Um, I think my biggest strength as a player would be um, my knowledge of the game. Hmm. Uh, it helps me play a lot faster. Um, I watch a lot of films. Yes, sir. I, I mean, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, I do watch a lot of film. Um, I love watching film. That's all I do in my off time, really. And then, um, really? yeah, I, I mean, I, I have two hours before a class after practice, and then I'll be in the film room the whole time, just laying, laying down, just watching film. <laughs> so, um, that's one of my favorite things to do, and I, it's helped me. It's helped me out so much, and uh, it helps me play so much faster, and not have to think so much before the snap. You mentioned somebody asked you real quick that you watch. You know who's your favorite player to emulate, and you mentioned you don't have one player. You watch film on different people. Who did you watch the most film on in the past year, NFL or college? Uh, um, well, obviously college. Um, I have more film on college players than I do uh, NFL. There, I do have film on NFL players at Kentucky, but. Um, we had a lot of film from uh, a lot of SEC O-lines, and I mean, they're, they're strong guys, so uh, <laughs> they're strong guys, so uh, I, try, I try to copy, uh, copy them as best as possible. Well, thank you very much. And Appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have a specific side of the ball you want to play on the next level? Uh, I mean, I've played right my whole life, but if, I'm, if they told me to play left, I mean, it takes some getting used to for like a couple practices, and I'd be happy with that as long as I make the team. I play left and I play center if I have to. Uh, I've had an experience there also. Um, so wherever team wants to put me. Yeah, have I'll teams be happy. talked about playing you at center? Yes, sir. Um, they want to make sure that I'm versatile. Um, Ask me if I've taken snaps before. I was actually our second string center this uh, this past year. Um, uh -huh. Our first string center went down. Uh, I took snaps all spring. I was our um, while our center was at our first string center was in class. I took over that role, so I, I play a lot of center. So you're versatile enough to <laughs> play either guy or center. Yeah. Have you done shotgun snaps? Yeah, that's uh, mainly what we actually mostly what we do. Uh, we're in the gun a lot of Kentucky or were, and um, I feel like my snaps are really uh, really on point. Um, I feel comfortable uh, snapping. Most offensive linemen know exactly how many sacks they gave up in their career. Do you know off the top of your head? Uh, in, at Kentucky, I gave up four altogether. Um, I gave up two my sophomore uh, two my sophomore year, uh, one one last year, and one I mean two years ago, and one 
I really didn't give up a sack. It should have been a sack, but I kind of gave up one last year because I missed my block. But he didn't get sacked. It was against Missouri. Uh, <laughs> it was against Missouri. I, I missed a uh, I missed a line game. Um, I was expecting them to do something, and then I assumed, so I got beat. So you know, I have to react better than than what I did in that game. But he technically technically didn't get sacked, but I count that as a sack in my book. Uh, not necessarily a specific person. Um, I'm on myself after a lot of people, uh, college or uh, NFL. Um, I watch a lot of film, and if I see that somebody's doing something better than I am, you know, I look at that and I'm like, wow, that's that's a great job. College, if it's a college guy, I'm like, I need to be like that. I need, you know, if I need to work on my hands better, I look for guys who um, who have great hands. Uh, try to uh, copy them because I feel like being a copycat is the best way to get better. So.